Oh, so we, when we talk about the uniting bond of peace, we mean that peace is the ligament. It's the tissue that holds God's people together. That was true in the first century, and it's true today. Like the early Christians, we come from different backgrounds. We speak different languages. Yet Jehovah has shown us how to remain united and at peace. Now, let's explain what we mean by being united. To be united doesn't mean that we all have to like the same things or we all have to think the same on every subject. There's room for a variety of tastes and opinions. There's variety on this convention program. We don't all wear the same style of suit or have the same color of tie. What about you? What's your favorite color? Your favorite food? Your favorite pet? In Jehovah's organization, there are dog lovers and cat lovers, and not everyone likes the same breed of dog or cat. Have you ever visited someone who has a pet that he thinks is just adorable? You take one look at the animal and you wonder how anyone could love a face like that. Yet he does. People are different, and their pets are grateful for that. The variety we find among God's people today will continue on into the new world. Jehovah loves variety. How many colors are there? How many species of plants, birds, and animals? Among God's creation, we find the simple and the complex, the plain and the fancy, the sweet and the sour, the rough and the smooth. There's great variety among people, even in the new world. Perfect humans won't have the same personality, talents, and abilities. You've always wanted to play the violin? Don't think uh, when you're perfect you'll just be able to pick up a violin and play, and there's no guarantee you'll be able to play in an orchestra. <laughs> Thank you, David, for another brilliant piece of stand-up comedy. We really are spoiled, aren't we, when we think of all of the moments of levity in a classic David Splain talk. And in this particular talk, which has the theme, Safeguard Our United Bond of Peace, I guess the overall joke is David Splain arguing for organisational diversity. Really? Jehovah's Witnesses are a diverse organisation. They're allowed to have whatever pets they like. <laughs> They're allowed to wear different suits and ties. And they're allowed to like different food. What a privilege. Just think how much latitude that gives you. Jehovah's Witnesses watching. You should be grateful to David Splain and the governing body for allowing you so much freedom. <laughs> you get to decide what food you like and what pets you have. You get to decide whether you have a cat or a dog. <laughs> you get to decide what colour of tie you wear. Those are all slam dunk examples, apparently, of how much diversity there is in this organisation. Okay, well, I'm personally not convinced. I think if you were arguing that Jehovah's Witnesses are a diverse organisation, you would be able to point to the community of gay Jehovah's Witnesses. You would be able to point to the community of lesbian or bisexual or transgender or queer Jehovah's Witnesses. You would be able to point to Jehovah's Witnesses who are concerned with equal rights and social justice and who are mobilizing in that direction. You would also be able to point to a community within Jehovah's Witnesses that is actively doing something about climate change. But we all know you're not going to find any of that because in truth, there is no diversity in Jehovah's Witnesses. There is racial diversity. There is a diversity of backgrounds. It's just that regardless of your background, no matter what religion or culture you came from, 
once you join Jehovah's Witnesses, you have to become assimilated into them and you have to become a mouthpiece for all of their ideas. There is no room for dissent. And I thought David Splain's wording here in particular was very interesting. To be united doesn't mean that we all have to like the same things or we all have to think the same on every subject. There's room for a variety of tastes and opinions. There's room for a variety of tastes and opinions, just not quite on every subject. Did you catch that wording? If it were truly a diverse organisation, David Splain should be able to say, to be united doesn't mean that we all have to like the same things or we all have to think the same. He should be able to say that, shouldn't he? But this, let's remember, is a script that's been written. He is reading this on an auto cue, more than likely. Or if he isn't reading it on an auto cue, he's reading it off notes that have been prepared for him. And these notes have added on to the end of that sentence on every subject because there are certain subjects where you cannot have your own opinion. And I think all Jehovah's Witnesses understand this. You cannot have your own opinion on homosexuality and call yourself a Jehovah's Witness if that opinion differs in any way from Jehovah's Witness ideology, homophobic Jehovah's Witness ideology, to be clear. So quite sneaky, quite slimy wording there. If you don't mind me saying, David Splain, you've very cleverly used words to give this mirage of Jehovah's Witnesses being this welcoming, diverse group where you get to have your own pet and you get to choose your own suit and tie. But what does any of that really matter if Jehovah's Witnesses is also a group where you're not allowed to be gay? 